Hi there, it's Patmos, and yes, it's Heart of Iron 4, it's the Communist States of America and the World War 1 mod, and yes, we are nearly done. So, let's get straight into it, I'll get time rolling, and we were ready to go to war with Hungary. So, I'd say, let's go. Let's see, can we defeat him or not? Well, I think we can. You can see our armies rushing in. You can see Hungary getting smaller and smaller. Just a few troops there, so shouldn't be a big fuzz. And I think almost there. Closer and closer. Ooh, new submarine. That's quite nice. So, is that it? Yes, we are done with all the shipping. Let's get some radar. Well, we already have a lot of radar, but it's not really ours. Alright, everyone is driving. Take Budapest, and it should be over. Well, all is taken. Perfect. So, we r really took every province before we defeated him. Now, let's take all states, end it, and done. Hungary belongs to the Reich. But then a big US Empire. Now what should we do with all these troops? Well, I gotta tell, there's still a little small country here. So we'll set up troops here and we'll go and attack there. Now let's name this Egypt. And then I believe there was another nation involved with Japan, which is named, well, I don't know, I don't know where that is. Ooh. Well, yeah, I have, oh, right here, it was right here, that's it. So, let's take another nation, name this Theater New Zealand, and then we'll go there. I don't know, Zealand, Zealand with Z, I don't know. Anyway, they're gonna go right here and prepare to invade that. Cool. Alright, so they're all getting ready because they might need to jump in. And that leaves us with two armies. One that needs a new unit in there. Alright, let's move it in there. Let's make it a motorized unit. Yep, we still have five tank units, so that's good. And then, well, where should we put it? I'm gonna put it here. Because how big an army does he have? A small one. And this should be enough to also take Ireland. So let's go there. Then this army doesn't really have a purpose. So I'm going to use them as reserves around here, because I think that we could find a weak spot somewhere around here where he starts to push in against me. And where we do, we will use those troops. So that's a bit how it's going to be, because he has a lot of divisions, a lot of troops. And yeah, I think it's, it's a good choice to do it like that. Keep some units in reserve. Now, of course, these are all ready to attack, but they're not going to attack yet, because we need an army to follow once we invade. So, we're first going to take the mainland of Japan. Right, what happens if we justify? 375 days, that's fine. So, well, a little over 170 days, 160 days. Yeah, alright, well, I'm interested to see what will happen. In the meantime, let's focus on bringing infrastructure to the world. Well, I think we already did. Even in the US, it's perfect. Ooh, we have a little island here, what could use a bit of infrastructure, but... Yeah, that's it. So, we have almost a perfect world. Nicely done. Well, airfields are being built here. At least that's what I hope should be. A level 6 airfield now, so it can carry up to 1200 planes. 800 right there, so 
in a while we'll sh get some airplanes there. Right now, I think what we need to do just get rid of all these and mainly come on sometimes it's hard to select units well at least for me all right so that's all clear and we still have do I have planes in use anywhere yeah right here but that's about it all right I don't think there will be many fortifications in this area, but can never be sure. And of course, I need some fighters. And why do we need those fighters? Well, yeah. Just to be ready and to defend against the enemy. So yeah, we just need to put in a few and of course we can put in strategic bombers well let's just say a thousand set the limit they have a pretty wide range I believe and they can just do strategic bombing there as soon as the war hits will take time but once the war hits off we can really use it into war bombers tactical bombers Fortress Heavy Fighter. Alright, 800 Heavy Fighters. Let's set them up over there. Too bad that this one doesn't start where you left off. You have those things where they start where you left off, so you can easy pick that plane. They just really need to give you an option to get rid of equipment. I don't know how, you t how to do that. Because I want to get rid of quite a bit of equipment. I have no use for it. Maybe you know. If you know how you can get rid of equipment, just destroy it or, I don't know, make it gone and get some raw materials back, that would be splendid. Because I have a lot of equipment I'm not using or will never use. But, yeah, well, that's about it. Well, he is gathering troops here as well. And maybe he has a lot more. We can't just see them. That happens every now and then. So, who will be our first victim? Poland. Ireland. Yeah, it will be Poland. Then, I think, Ireland. I'll be a close call between Ireland and Japan. But I believe it's Poland, Ireland. Yeah, after that, it's pretty much done. And we have Liberia. Well, that's probably going to be the last nation then. The last nation to fall into my hands. So, yeah, I'm gonna justify against them. And then the force that's heading towards Korea will be the one that actually does the trick. Now, let's do some construction. So, this one is in Egypt. One, when they are done, they can go to Liberia and then. We will defeat Liberia with no divisions. He's already at limited conscription, still has no divisions and only a little bit of manpower. Not good for him, but that's not my problem. Alright, well, does Poland have any divisions? I highly doubt it. Oh, 4 to 8. So yes, it does have divisions, I just don't know where they are. No manpower though. Well, only a limited conscription, so... Ooh, I know why it's taking so long. We're not at full speed anymore. 115 days. We can do it. Well, we have supply issues. But we also have... I guess I need to improve the port here then. Because then, yeah, alright. Let's just make it 20. Let's go. Then we'll be out of these supply problems and... Not much will happen. 
Right, so this is my reserve army. Now I have time to name all these things. Reserve. Well, if my computer isn't thinking too loud, this one is Ireland. Nice. Well, we have things set up. We can be formed into one. And I think I can also just disband these units. I want to get rid of them. Why would I be needing them? I won't. Let's get rocket engines. Interesting. I do want those nuclear reactors because the A-bomb can be a very powerful tool in helping me against the Japanese, especially if I want to do those landings. If I can A-bomb a few provinces, we might be able to land. Otherwise, landing can be quite tough. 50 days, people. 50 days. This is a big country, but it also makes it hard to defend, I think. At least if we can really start pushing in. So these Eastern Europe forces should be pushing really hard. Well, these should as well. They're just not all attacking. And these will really start attacking as soon as they can. Then we'll see. So this one is meaning quite a bit of opposition, that's true. So I'll set him to be a little bit careful. This one is expected opposition as well, but not everywhere. This one is expecting opposition. This one as well, but not in this area, so that's good. Although I should be a little bit careful, I think. I mean, they will attack, just not get in too quick once when they think they will meet a lot of opposition. Alright, set up. You can really get in trouble when they use all their organization on a futile attack and then they get pushed back, so sometimes you have to be a bit careful. Let's check these. Are there here that think they can... Yes, this guy really has to push in hard. Same as this guy. He can start the attack ASAP. Him as well. The rest should wait. I'm try take this area first. Alright, we can go to war over Danzig. And, well, we will. So let's declare war. Alright, there we go. It's only them. I have Russian Far East. Yeah, well, I don't see where he is, so I'm not going to use it. Alright. Not my problem. And we took it. Well, that was quick. And turn done. Alright, three armies again. Nice. Well, I think I'm going to put these into the reserve army as well. Give these a different color though, but then they can be in, yes. And I'll speak them right here. Come on. These guys will speak to watch it anyway. These should be training. Because they need to get better. They're not good enough. And perhaps I'm gonna put a few in to create pockets. Yes, these guys are really good. So, if I set these up right here, just on that pocket, we'll make them green. And just make them do a push like that. That'll be nice. Because we will be creating a pocket. We can defeat. Same with these guys. I can set these up, for instance, right here. And then create a pocket towards that. That'll be really nice. Although I think it will take a bit of time before they reach that area. Now, let's see. Let's do this one. Let's do that one. Let's do industry. Nice. How long? 
Oh, 200 days. All right, so they have plenty of time to get there. These guys should maybe do the same here, but I'll give them a wide front line to attack. All right, do I have more divisions that still need training? They don't. These guys do. All right, start training. Ooh, I need quite a few divisions to train up, because they're not up to speed. Yes. Oh, they are good enough, they are good enough. They need to train. And that's what happens when you have quite a few casualties. You really need to train up. Alright, well they can do that, no problem. Guess these guys need to train as well. And well my Ireland force can use the training. My Egypt force can use the training. Oh we can build nuclear reactors. We're gonna do that. That's already research the A-bomb, my New Zealand force that would need training. The reserves do, but well they are already training, so that's not. Alright, start training. Now, let's go to the US, and let's build a few nuclear reactors. I thought we could. Right now. But, it appears we can't. I thought, after you research that one... Oop, wrong button. You could start building nuclear reactor, yeah. State level 1. Did they disable that in this mod? Oh, apparently. Alright, so no nuclear bombs. Unfortunately. Yeah, well, we'll have to deal with that. Alright, it's time to keep rolling. Keep an eye on it. Yeah, we go to war with Ireland first and then Japan. Nice work. Still more than a hundred days. Now let's Slowly go by our divisions and see which one are trained up enough and which aren't. Once they are, we can actually stop training. Ooh, this one's almost done, that's nice. Yep, yeah, let's do a rocket engine. Where was I? Right here. Almost done. Yep, that one is done, so they can stop training. Perfect. Ooh, we got extra research done there. Let's do a rocket engine. Let's continue our quest. We were on. Well, they're all training up, so that's good. And it appears trading is paying off. Yep. Even my reserve divisions are getting strong. And, well, that basically was what we wanted. Let's do another round, see which ones are done. Some almost, some quite far from being done. Need to focus on Ireland though, because if they're not done when the war starts. We have a problem, but that's still a long way. That's not a not a problem. Well, most armies are getting there. And the training really adds up because if they they have a zero percent modifier, you get one level up, they have a twenty percent modifier in combat, which is well, it's like a quarter, so that's really good. That's really something you can use. 
It does use equipment though, if they train, so... If you don't have that much equipment, you should be careful which units you train, but... Usually, it really pays off. They have to dig in again now and regain their organization, but there's plenty of time for that, so that's no problem. Well, at least not in my case. These are done, so now the time isn't rolling, you can go a bit faster between all your units, so I can quickly see which ones are done. Well, those are the ones that are done. Almost done, almost done. Yep, really nice. Alright. Well, let's keep researching. Want the best possible research, of course. Still face a strong enemy, but I have a good feeling. check because it's almost done but I think it's almost time as well yeah 30 days so these guys can stop training for now and can get ready how long before we have to fight Japan oh that's not that long anyway let's go and check this army is done almost done almost done almost done almost done so that's good Get a lot of plus 25% modifiers. This one is done. Really interesting. This is really something that can make a difference. Keep that in mind always. This can be the difference between winning and losing. You training up all your troops, your enemy doesn't. That could make the difference. And of course, if you don't get that many casualties, that helps as well. And if we take one of the previous wars we had with the Allies, where we had almost 10 million casualties, but he had over 80 million, that makes a difference as well. He had really a lot of green troops, where we had a lot of good troops. Alright, we can go to war with Ireland. Let's do it. Declare war, conquer, let's go. Let's get in, guys. Drive, 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 set them to aggressive, just take it all. Alright. Yep, there we go. Come on. And we already took it. Done. Alright, well, let's hold, let's train up this army first and then send them over to Asia. In the meantime, let's check, because how much time do we have? Not much, 20 days, so everyone has to stop training, regardless of what they are doing. This is the only one that can keep training, now everyone can get ready. And then it is Japan. Here we come. Improved rocket engines. Let's get even better ones. Still a bit disappointed I can't build a nuclear reactor. And I really have no clue why. I guess they turned it off in this mod. They can't build rocket sites anyway, so that's also a thing. Hmm. Bad. Six days, five, four, three, two, one. We can go to war if we want to. Well, it's 8 a.m. in the morning. We can start a war with the Japan, Japanese People's Republic. However, I think you know what's coming. We're not going to do that because this episode has been long enough. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you will join me in the next one when we go to war with the Japanese People's Republic. See you there. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave comments in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.